Hey YouTube, what's happening? My name's Trevor Oslescu, owner of Monster Hobbies, and today in this video we are going to take a look at another great model car kit. Today on the Model Car Garage, we're going to be looking at Ravel's 1977 Chevy Van. Now this model kit is on loan from my good friend James, so thank you once again James for letting us see what's inside here. And if you would like to check out our available model car kits that you can purchase today, don't forget to check it out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. So pound that like button and let's go start the show! Boogie Nights! Oh, boogie Nights! Oh, all right now, so here we are with our 1977 Ravel van, and as you can see, this is a great little 125th scale kit for ages 10 and up. On the side of this box, we have a really groovy interior here, as well as the Auto Crafters van and the undercarriage. And on the opposite side of the box, we get all the details on this model kit, as well as this great paint guide so we know what colors to use. And now let's take the lid off this great 1977 disco van and see what's inside the box. So here we have some nice clear glass that's bagged and will prevent it from getting scratched, as well as our van and all the components for it. Down here we have this wonderful chrome tree. And then we've got our funky tires right here and our decal sheet and underneath the decal sheet is our instructions. Tonight's the night we're going to take a look at these great instruction sheets and as you can see here we have a blueprinted type sketch of the van as well as a photograph of the model kit and then a great history of how the American van started and what it was like in the 70s. Ravel has also given us a few rules about this model kit, such as study the assembly drawings, each plastic part is identified by a number, and so on and so forth. Any unused parts may be discarded, but hey, we're all model builders, we know that's a lie! Ravel has also included this great big paint guide, as well as instructions on our decal application and all the little symbols you will see inside the instructions. Now if you're missing any parts, Ravel has this entire chart of all the parts listed so that you can contact them and let them know which is missing. The engine in this model kit is quite simplistic and you can see the transmission, engine block, oil pan and front timing cover are all molded in place. This will glue to the left hand and right hand sides. Then we have our air cleaner, our intake manifold, valve covers, cylinder head, exhaust manifold, alternator, fan belt and pulleys. The engine is then dropped into our chassis and an engine bracket is glued into place. Now in order to carry on my wayward son we have our wheels and tires so here we have our outer wheel, our tire and the wheel back and then we have these retainer clips that go inside as well. And before we completely exhaust this video we have our exhaust system down here and as you can see it is pretty unique you have two pipes going off our manifolds and then they merge into a single pipe which goes through our catalytic converter then carries on down to our muffler and then splits again into two separate pipes out the back. Step 4 shows our rear axle being glued together and this is pretty righteous. As you can see you've got your springs going on as well as your rear axle and then our wheels glue into place. This gets put onto our chassis along with the drive shaft. Then we have this shocking development right here as we put on our rear shocks onto the back and then that's followed up by our front upper and lower A arms being glued back onto our chassis. Now that the underneath of our van is completed let's go into the interior here where we can see that we got this great dashboard again our CB radio one of the staples of the 70s then we've got our nice steering column here and this beautiful steering wheel this entire assembly then drops into our interior bucket here where we have a center console dropping in as well as this and our two bucket seats. That's an 8-track player. That's like Disco Dynamite! Then our interior drops down onto the top of our chassis. Now in order to keep this bad boy cool we will need a radiator so here we have our radiator and our fan shroud which drop again onto the front end of our chassis right in front of that fan. Now we can drop that clear glass right into the front here daddy-o. 
And look at all these wonderful pieces that we put on in step 7. There's some windshield wipers dropping into place, as well as this little front chin spoiler, which is optional, of course. Then we've got our stock grill here with these nice clear headlights dropping in place, a license plate and a license plate decal, and our Chevrolet logo. And then once all that's completed, you can drop the body right onto the chassis. And of course we need some nice van mirrors so that we can back up and see who's passing us and all that great stuff. And there you got those nice big square ones with a little bracket going in place on both the right and left hand sides. And then here we've got our tail lights going in and then we can all put them all in there and everybody can have lots of fun. So there's our rear bumper, our license plate decal, license plate and our rear tail lights dropping in place as well as little tips on how to paint in here. And out back, this will really make you flip your lid. We've got a spare tire cover here that comes in a front and a back, which glues on to the back door, as well as a trailer hitch here and a CB antenna. Now here, as we can see, Ravel gives us both the black and white in these instructions as we check out the great decals that go on the side for location. And there, of course, is that nice big splashy one that goes up the side for our Auto Crafters Custom Paint Works with the California Vanish license plate, which is really interesting. And then over here, we have Accurate Plumbing, which again is another really cool plumbing company. And I do believe you paint this a dark color. And again, it is really cool. And over here, it looks like we've got Illinois 343 JK. Now here's our funky disco van right out of the 70s to put you in the proper groove. And as you can see, the detail on here is crisp and really excellent looking. You've got the mechanism for the sliding door, as well as our side marker lights and the Chevy emblems on here. Some flared fenders going on. We also have our door lock heads and door handles. And then we've got this nice little vent up here, which again is really groovy. The only criticism I'll give it is there's some high seam lines and flash around the body. So you'll have to correct that with sandpaper and your hobby blade. Underneath, we've got these great little panel cutouts for putting in extra glass, as well as some little holes in there for other details. There are some mold marks in here, which will need to be removed. This model was made in Northbrook, Illinois. And then if we look out the back here, we've got the perfect profile for our 70s Chevy van with the Chevrolet script right over top of the license plate. And again, wonderful door lock handles. And here we have our interior panel. And again, you can see this is really nice. The detail on the doors is excellent. You've got these great little seat pillars, which have the four bolts in each corner, almost sort of like a traffic cone. And then you got your center console there. And then look at these bucket seats that even come with the armrests down. That's uh, pretty amazing, actually. And then here we've got more mold light marks. So you're going to have to get rid of those with your number 16 hobby blade. And you can get these ones easily by cross sanding with some sandpaper. But again, very excellent work from Ravel. And here we have the excellent piece that makes up our chassis. And it includes the sliding box here for our bottom of our doors, which is really amazing. But there is a sink mark in every corner. Everyone's a winner with the sink mark in every corner. So you're going to have to get rid of that again with your number 16 hobby blade. But the detail actually on here is pretty crisp and good looking. Look at that fuel cell right there and all the ribs in the floor. If we turn it over, you can see the manufacturer's marks on here, but it is really smooth. No mold marks on this side. So that will make a good fit for your interior. This model kit comes with three parts trees, so there isn't too many parts to make up the model kit. Sadly though, our steering column broke off. It was in the bag, so I'm just going to point it out right here. Now here we have our first parts tree, and as you can see, we've got our engine block down here, which is really nice. Our little tiny air cleaner, and then we've got our upper A arms. Those are the cylinder heads, intake manifold, our springs here both pieces of the radiator. There is the bottom of our front suspension, the little splash pan. That is a cup holder right there. And then we've got our CB radio and that eight track right on, right on. And so that is basically that parts tree. Next up, we've got that groovy exhaust system as well as a shift lever here and our little wheel retainer clips, our exhaust manifolds. And this part has more flash on it than disco stew. That, of course, is our little trailer hitch step down. 
So on the back here we also have some sink marks. You could easily fill those and sand them out. But overall this parts tree looks really, really nice. What good would a van be if you couldn't drive it? Well, we don't know. But however, there is our dashboard right there. And as you can see it is really molded nicely. Really big, just like the real vans. Look at how wide that rear axle is. That's pretty big. It's all molded as one piece, so of course there's a seam line going right up along here, which has to be removed. Then we've got our little fan belts and pulleys right there. All our wheel backs, the fan, the funky steering wheel, and an engine brace. Turning it over, not too bad, but again, some more flash. So all of that has to be fixed up with hobby blades and sandpaper. Right on, right on. Now, speaking of glitter and glitz, this has more flash to it than a disco ball. And as you can see again, really groovy stuff. If you look, the grill actually is hollow off the back so that you can see right through it, right through those grill bars. Very nice work indeed. Again, paint this flat black so it just disappears. Get rid of these mold marks before you do that. Now here we also have some lake pipes which are not really shown in the kit, but you could add them right in there, right off your headers. And then there's our windshield wipers, as well as some other really cool parts for our side mirrors here. We've got these nice Camaro 67 type Camaro wheels on here. And then our little CB antenna, valve covers, bumper, and license plates, as well as our alternator over here. Very nice work right out of the box. Next up we have our glass, and don't let this be a bummer to you, but you actually have to paint the rear taillights red, with some transparent red of course. But overall you get some really nice things in here. Your windshield, which is actually cut right and doesn't trail into the back. Then we've got the nice little window here for in our roof, as well as our headlights. Remember to make sure these go north and south and not at an angle on the little lines inside your headlamps. And then there's our taillights. And over here we've got our little parking lights. Here we have the tires for our van. And I'm just going to give these tires one disco blue star here. And the reason for that is because there is no manufacturer name on the sides of the tires, like Goodyear or Firestone or anything else. The tread on here is quite nice. However, there's a seam line running up and around it. And you're going to have to get rid of that using your wheel spinning tool and some sandpaper. So only one blue star for Ravel on these. And here we have our decal sheet, which I will give five gold stars on because this thing is really psychedelic. And as you can see here, you got this nice blue pattern on. You got a for sale sign. Here's our side marker lamps as decals. And then you've got this nice stuff from Accurate Plumbing on here. Illinois again, 343JK. And up here, California Vanish. You also get a black Chevy license plate. And then you got your choice here for the grill. And then here's your Auto Crafters Custom Paintworks. So again, very, very groovy. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this review of Ravel's 1977 Chevy van. And if you've built this before, we'd love to see your pictures over on our Facebook page. And don't forget to visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And until next time, everybody, happy model building!